Kosi Nation, San Bonani. Hey, it's been a while. I've missed you guys so much. But anyways, let me not waste much of your time in your challenge in the in Petele Zone. And I'm challenge. So, Kaiser Chiefs got fined 100,000 rands because of that situation at Mbombela Stadium. You guys know what happened. We lost against TS Galaxy. Then, our fans started throwing objects. Geguyena, or coach with Kaiser Chiefs, which is Omele Fintake. Now, in other news, Omen B has come up to the Kosi family. Taking to media, he has responded to Junior Kanye about evening, him South African about Chiefs. supporters. Now he says uh, Junior Kanye was the best player for Guys, Chiefs, but he doesn't like him talking bad about Chiefs whether they win or they of lose. Of talking Take nonsense about Kaiser best. Chiefs all the time is annoying. When Kaiser Chiefs is losing the games, people they are talking shit about Kaiser Chiefs. When Kaiser Chiefs is drawing, they are also taking a shit. When Kaiser Chiefs is winning the game, they are talking shit. I love that guy called uh, Junior Kanya. He was a good player for Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, sometimes he can talk reality. But sometimes the guy is annoying. The guy, he tell the media that Kaiser Chiefs is not going to beat Amazon. Kaiser Chiefs is going to lose against Amazon. When we beat up Amazon, about 3-0, he said that one was a fluke. Why? What is, what is the problem of that Junior Kanya boy? What is the problem of that boy? This thing of Junior Kanya is not a joke. As it's not a joke at all. He always creating stories. He always talking nonsense about Kaiser Chiefs. Even if Kaiser Chiefs is winning the game, he's talking nonsense. If Kaiser Chiefs is losing the game, he's talking nonsense. If Kaiser Chiefs is throwing the game, he's talking nonsense. All the time he's talking nonsense about Kaiser Chiefs. You have heard it from Man B, guys. Now, moving on, a uh, former Kiza Chiefs player, Siabong Angezani, has made his debut against UTS Arad, where they lost 2-1. It looks like he's not performing very well that side. And talking about performances, Hugo Bros believes that Kiza Chiefs does not yet have a single player that is good enough to play for the national team. I Asaz, do you guys agree with him? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Now, Chiefs is playing against Stellenbosch FC tonight, 7.30 p.m. Starting 11 looks like this. Goalkeeper, Brandon Peterson. Left back, Riv Frosler. 4 and 5, Given Msimango and Zita Quinica. Right back, Etatoyona Di Klaukwe. Number 6, Yusuf Mat. 7, Edson Castillo. 8, Mdudozum Tanzane. Left winger, Pulemodi. 10, which is striker, Ashley Dupriz. And then the right Swing at Devo Hopotane. I'll make sure you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with something new.